So the the Indians, because people always say, you know, I'm going to stand in solidarity with the Native American, man. Nigga, you is the Native American. That's your lineage's hospitality that they took advantage of. Just because somebody takes advantage of you don't mean you stop being who you are with each other. Let me say that again. Just because someone does you wrong, an, an outsider, a non-family member, an invader, just because they take your kindness and flip it on you, don't mean you stop being kind to one another. It's our tradition. Whether you're talking about the indigenous Aboriginal American on the East Coast or the ones down South in Alabama or the ones up in the Michigan area, the Potawatomi. It's always been tradition of people of the earth to take time to celebrate and commune with one another. That's always been tradition of us. That's who we are as a people. What's up, lady? Be in the chat room. Eight win timeless. Thank y'all for joining the chat room. We are a people that communes with one another. We celebrate with one another. Just because some hungry came in and bastardized it don't mean we accept their bastardization of it. You don't have to accept when bastards bastardize your shit. You don't have to accept their bastardization of your shit. You don't. Same thing with the word nigga. Niger, Niger, Nigas. A word that has 20 different inflections, gets sown in dozens of languages, all pointing back to the same thing. All these different indigenous African languages that the word Niger, Nigas, Niger, they all go back to a person of standing, a king. Someone on top, someone with respect. You can have a dozen different African languages saying that, and then niggas go around, man, I ain't no nigga, man, because the white folks took a word that they heard and redefined it. So I'm going to take what they redefined it as, and I'm going to give it that definition. And I ain't that, man. Fuck you. Don't say the word nigga. Oh, I'm so sensitive. Man. What's up, Dre Mad? I appreciate it. What's up, Tasha Ray? But that's what we do as a people. Then you then you tell a black person like, hey, look, man, that word, the reason why it has a certain vibration is because it's in your genetic memory far longer than the last 200, 300 years. Like, it's in your genetic memory for literally thousands of years a version of that rhythm. And you know, black folks, we are rhythmic people. We use words and rhythm. It's a rhythm to what we do. So you can hear some stuff and we'll throw a word in just to keep the rhythm on. Like, like niggas, like we love using the word ass. Ass is a great rhythm word. Look at that dumb ass nigga. This stupid ass motherfucker right here. Man, this is a long ass homework problem I got. God damn, that was a long ass left turn he took. God damn, that 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 green light held for a long ass time. <laughs> ass don't mean nothing. It's just the rhythm. We're rhythmic people. I whooped that motherfucker's ass. 
Your ass is used 10,000 different ways from Sunday. Let's tell the whole truth. Man, I ain't been off work in a long ass time. That was a short ass song. Damn, that woman got a big ass. We can't. Yeah, you're right, Larry, because Richard Pryor made a big deal out of saying, not saying nigga. Niggas is hard. Yeah, I'm not going to say the word nigga no more. And I get it. If you have a limited understanding of, and if you only know, if you re genuinely think that's a white person's word. Okay, I get it. But that's why I've always been a person that likes expanding my knowledge and learning more, finding out more. We'll go around and, and let Europeans judge us for how we speak. And while they're judging us, calling our the way we speak, Ebonics and some side thing, as we create words, they put them in the in the in the uh, dictionary. Ain't wasn't a word. When they said me when I was a kid, ain't ain't a word. Now ain't is used every goddamn day. You don't see Europeans going around saying, "Now they'll tell you, oh that's some nigga shit. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do it." And then they'll turn around and adopt it and use it to their to their advantage. That's power. You got the same power, black people. Matter of fact, your power is even stronger because you're the originators of it. Thanksgiving wasn't the Europeans' idea when they got here. It wasn't a whole bunch of mayonnaise infested meth heads coming in saying, hey, let's go ahead and have dinner. No. Whether you're talking about the first Thanksgiving in St. Augustine, Florida, or the Plymouth Rock Thanksgiving, two different sets of Native Americans with the same custom. Did we have guests? We'll break bread with those guests. The lesson is that we got to get out of it because there's a learning lesson in everything. We keep the tradition. Because we're communal people. Our stories are passed down generally through word of mouth. So we need those times to be together. You just don't take their definition of it. The lesson in this is this. Celebrate with one another. Define your celebration. And stop inviting everybody to the fucking party. That's where niggas go wrong. That's where we go wrong. We always come up with some dope shit. Have some dope shit. Some dope customs. And then what's the first thing niggas want to do? Oh, my friend Josh. He listened to. He know every, he know every Tupac song word for word. We're going to invite him to the barbecue. That's where we fuck up. That's where we fuck up as a people. We go around inviting everybody else to our barbecue. And then they use our kindness for the for weakness, undermine and poison our barbecue, poison our Thanksgiving, poison our hip hop, poison our blues, our jazz, our language, poison our dance. And then they go off and take it put less seasoning on it, dumb it down, simplify it, and make trillions and billions of dollars off of it. That's where we fuck up. We invite everyone else to the barbecue, let them poison the well, let them poison the food, and then take the concept of what, of what we created and turn it into a whole industry for themselves. And then they X us out of it. That's where we fuck up. 